What's up you guys, welcome back to the channel. All you new subscribers, I'm Barboss. Today we're gonna be assembling the suspension on the Civic. We're gonna be putting our uh, coilovers and we are gonna be putting pretty much everything, getting everything on there. I need this car to be a rolling shell so we could turn it around and maybe face it this way. Um, we are getting pretty close to getting this car on the ground already So with that being said, I'm just gonna throw you guys on a little time-lapse and start Putting stuff together down here. Um, it's not gonna be much that we're gonna be doing uh, It's just gonna be all the sus suspension components right here And the CV axle If anybody's interested in buying stickers they're five dollars a piece just go ahead and leave me a message down below and thank you for supporting the channel Right now I find myself at the junkyard 
switching my shoes, threw my other shoes in here, my clean ones, and I gotta get a CV axle, cause the one that I have has the threads all stripped completely, and it's only $25 here. So here's one, this is a 2000. It should pretty much be the same. So I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can pull that CV axle out. Um, I really didn't see anything else. I haven't checked the other side of the yard. On that side, there's always like a little strip over there they set up and then there's another strip way over there at the other end that they set up with like imports. But I think, this one should be fine. I'm gonna go ahead and inspect it, take it all apart real quick. And hopefully it looks good. I'm back by the car. Let me tell you guys that it was a pain to remove that. So at the end, I really didn't have all the tools with me to remove it. So at the end, I ended up going to the front desk and asking for a hammer. And I loosened up the nuts on the spindle and I removed the spindle with the axle still attached so i bought the whole thing for 50 bucks that's a pretty good deal so now we're gonna go ahead head back to the house so we could assemble this on the passenger side it's extremely hot right now it's literally like 100 degrees out and i was burning in there that's why i didn't record the whole process i had to lay some carpeting on the floor so I could lay on the floor and try to sneak away from from the sun but man it's it's really hot out here you can see how hard the sun is shining right now yeah so let's head on out of here we're at day three the first day was the day that I did this side of the suspension the second day I went to the junkyard and today is the third day it's raining out well, it was raining out. Um, and check it out. So here's the spindle, aka the knuckle, whatever you want to call it. It's up to you. Um, with the CV axle. This is the old setup. You can see that the boot was also ripped, which is not a big deal. But what really screwed everything up was the threads over here. The threads were all stripped. So the one that I got, the CV axle is good and the threads are good. So we're gonna go ahead and send that one and get it in there. So I'm not going to show the process of installing this. I'm just going to go ahead, do a little bit of magic, and just make it appear because I know this video is kind of long. So here it goes. One, two, three. Oh, one more time, one more time. One, two, three. Oh, it worked. Let me do a quick inspection. Oh, nice. Yeah, everything's on here now. Huh. Why is my mallet broken, though? That's the only thing. I'm not gonna do these magic tricks if my mallet is gonna be broken every single time. Or I'm gonna have a tool broken. Huh, that's weird. Yeah, everything looks good on here. Except for that, that's broken after the magic trick, but. Oh well, it is what it is. Let's go ahead and throw the tire on. And we could go ahead and set this car on the floor. 
All right, I'm gonna go ahead and set it down. I already got the jack on the other side. And remember, whatever it looks like, I still have to adjust the suspension. So here it goes. We got a little bit of a squeakiness on this side. I'm not sure what that's all about. I might have to raise it up and put a little bit of grease on all the rubber. And yeah, this is pretty much it. We got the suspension back on there and we are done. I'm gonna catch you guys on my next video. Till then, peace out, stay safe. Catch you guys later.